Welcome back to the Single Handed Chef. I'm um, sorry I've been away. I've been, I moved into a place and got some new countertops and sink. Um, so um, I'm really enjoying my new surroundings. I'm back at my home, but um, but it's all a little bit new. So I don't know if you, some of you have seen on Facebook, but I got a new sink and I got new countertops as well. So a little bit about me. I had a brain abscess about a year and a half ago. And just trying to do some videos, simple simple videos for people to uh, cook and people like me or people who just want to learn how to cook. Um, so uh, today we're going to make a butternut squash soup. Um, I have trouble cutting butternut, so I went ahead and bought uh, pre-cut butternut squash. Um, I'm going to show you how to cut uh, the onions and everything else, but uh, it's a real simple dish and um, I think you'll like it. So here we go. First thing you do is cut the onion. And so what I've been doing, I have my little two cutting board system here. Here, let's. So what I've been doing is I set my adaptive cutting board up on the left hand side. and just make it easier for me to deal with. And then I have my wooden cutting board. And the thing about I like about my wooden cutting board is um, it's heavy enough for me to cut on. And I really enjoy that. But we're gonna puree this uh, soup, so I don't really mind, my cuts don't need to be perfect, but I wanna show you um, that I can. <laughs> Because that's the whole thing about being a chef, is, is cutting. And that's one of the hardest things to do, because I was right-handed before all this happened to me. And now being left-handed, I can still cut. I probably couldn't cut as fast. <laughs> I've definitely gotten more adaptive um, since everything, which is a good thing, I guess. So, cut up the onions, and then we'll do some garlic, put that out, and this is one that I've gone back and forth on, do I want to get pre-garlic, and I don't use that much garlic. Well, I, I use a lot of garlic, but I don't. It's not like I'm in a restaurant. So, so I don't mind cutting it, breaking it up like this. And just watch. Um, like uh, you just saw me um, throw some away. It's because it was bad. And don't be scared to throw things away because they're bad. Check everything. Make sure you're dealing with fresh ingredients. Um... If you're dealing with inferior ingredients, um, you're going to end up with an inferior dish and you run the risk of possibly getting sick. So we'll go with three cloves of garlic. And I'm going to leave those whole because, like I said, I want to get the garlic flavor in the soup. But I, and I'm gonna puree it. So I, I'll put these in about halfway through with, um, while I'm cooking. So come with me now over to this pot. And so we're gonna turn it on high and we'll go in with a little bit of oil. roll that around to coat the pan and we'll let that get hot and then we'll go in with with all the vegetables all right now it's hot so we'll go in with the onions and you want to hear that sizzle that's very important. And that's what you want. So and also, we're going with the garlic.
and we'll just let that sweat down for a few minutes, stirring with a wooden spoon right here. You can keep it on the pan as well, it doesn't hurt. Um, because you want to move everything around like so. So we'll let that go for a little bit. All right, so what you want to do, you want to get a little bit of color on these, but not a lot. So we're going for about a minute or two. Get a little bit of color on these. And now what I like to do, I'm gonna go in with my time. So I'm gonna go in with a little bit of time and let this flavor down as it goes as well. And just start to smell it like I am right now. Do that for about a minute. You want to really open up. And if you're using dried, I'd go in even earlier because dried uh, herbs or spices, you want to activate it with heat. Um, whether you toast it in a pan or you toast it or you put it in something like this where it activates in the oil and the vegetables. So now we're going to go in with the butternut squash. I'm a single head of chef, but I'm trying to use my left hand more when I do stuff. So you want to kind of roast those a little bit. Go on with a little pepper. It's a very simple soup. Not much to it. Butternut squash. But it's so good on its own. Stir that up. And now you have a nice aromatic going on um, and roasting. And now you want to go in with your liquid. So what I'm going to go in, I'm going to go in with some chicken stock. And if you want to be a vegetarian, you can do veggie stock, but I'm going in with chicken stock. And you want to go till you just about cover with stock. And then go in with cream. And this you want to go, you want it to float. Which I put in about a cup and a half of each. And now what we're going to do is we're going to bring it to a boil. And we're going to allow the squash to cook. And then once we get to that point, we'll puree it up with the hand blender. Um, I couldn't put it together. My sister helped me put it together. Um, I'm having, I, have, I, I can kind of do it, but so you might need a little help with some things. You can get these, which they're attached and you don't have to worry about that. Um, but we're gonna cook this up to those tender and then we're gonna puree it up and then we'll adjust the season. And then there you go, you have soup. So I'll be back in a few minutes. All right, it's come up to a boil. So turn it down to a nice medium and there's a, having an electric stove, it's gonna take a minute. And then what you wanna do now is you just wanna cook it until the butternut squash is nice and tender. And this will become a nice soup, smooth and creamy. Butternut squash is one of the best to make a soup out of. So good. So we'll be right back in a few minutes. All right, we're back. Let's see where we're at. So what you can do, if you only have one hand, you can just take it and push it to the side and if it comes up like that, but you can take a pair of tongs. And so then what I do, because you, the whole reason I put the uh, thyme in here right now is so I can get the flavor in, but I need to get it out. 
because the sticks will be better and plus it'll hurt the immersion blender. So pull out the time now. And by now it should have, you know, all the time flavor you need is in there. The leaves should have fallen off. And you can do, you, you can chop it up, but if you only have one hand, um, like I do, makes it a lot easier to just pull it out. It takes a little time, I know, and you could possibly burn yourself. Um, but as you can see, I don't know if you, well, here we go. We just get one more right here. But if you can see, there's, there's enough time in here already. The leaves are broken off and everything's off. So we'll turn this off, plug in the immersion blender. Like so. And then just pulse it up. Very fun. And just let it run until it's smooth. Some soups you can strain out. This one I wouldn't. You don't need to. thicker you go less stock if you want it thinner you go more stock um, if you want it richer you can get rid of stock completely and just do cream it's whatever you feel that's a beautiful thing about cooking it's whatever you feel you want to do so now I don't know if you can see that but it's nice and nice and smooth God, <laughs> I need to have another spoonful. And there you have it. Yeah, butternut squash soup. Um, you can eat it just like you, you, you have right there. Um, this is a base for uh, a dinner for my friends. I'm gonna put some um, broccoli, some branch broccoli in it, and some pork tenderloin to go with it. So you can garnish it up. You can serve it with a grilled cheese sandwich, um, hot ham and cheese, however you want to. You can add bacon to it, or you can leave it um, like it is. And like I said, if you want to do vegetarian, just use um, uh, veggie stock. And, and, and then it's even vegan. Well, you, you can use coconut cream if you want to make it vegan um, and make it however you would like. But, um, but thank you so much for coming out. I hope you enjoyed this. Um, I know I did. Um, I love making soup. It's one of my favorite things to do. And let's see. That's what you want. So come on over here and take a look. And there you go. Butternut squash soup. Single hand chef style. So y'all enjoy. Thank you so much to the Produce Project for sponsoring me. And thank you all for cooking in. Hope you have a wonderful day and I'll see you soon. Um, don't forget to like and subscribe. Thank you so much. All right, bye-bye.